Hey, what's up, my little title tells Yo, come in, shut the door, sit down. I hope y'all are having a fantastic Memorial Day weekend. And if you're Kanye West, you just very, very lovely. Listen, Kanye West just announced another huge major win for down the sports. Oh, y'all ain't know that? Because I didn't. That Kanye actually is getting into sports management. They just had a huge win signing a super huge star. I'll tell you about in a second. But also, it looks like the Yeezy brand is going to expand past Kanye West. And it looks like they might be the first signature collab with Yeezy. I'll tell y'all about in a second. So how is Kim reacting to this? And I knew Kanye had a whim because every time we wake up and Kim's doing something weird or gross or cringy, it always turns into, right? It always turns into you're trying to take attention from either your sisters or from Kanye. But baby, we got the receipts on that and how Kim looks super self-obsessed. Uh, but also, no lie, people are a little bit worried that Kim's so busy trying to finesse, not even finesse, but Kim's so busy trying to get under Kanye's skin that she still doesn't see that she's being finesse. Again, Kim, sources are saying, and I'm going to give you all the receipts, let me know if y'all think I'm reaching or not. Sources are saying that Kim thought that she was instrumental in getting Pete Davidson to move to California. However, it looks like Pete hadn't been happy on Saturday Night Live for a while. Yes, Lorne Michaels, the show, uh, the, the creator of the show, loved Pete and gave him the job. But all the rest of the cast thought he was an untalented hack. And Pete's been looking for a sugar mama to quit. He thought it was Ariana but it looks like it might be Kim, y'all. I got some receipts, let me know if y'all think it's a reach, but let's get into Kanye's good news first, all right? But before we do that, hit that like, comment, subscribe. Baby, it's YouTube, you always got me out here begging and y'all know how this works. I wanna get to a million and listen, I don't want none of y'all in my comments being like, well, if you stop, like kept your videos under a minute or if you talk slower, or if you stop the music, you get to a million. Nah, baby, I don't want your comments. I'm getting to a million my way. But if you could hit that like button, you know, I'm sure your girl will come up with a few things that you like. All right, let's get into this mess, shall we? First, let's talk about Kanye's success. Woo, this is amazing. Aaron Donald signs with Kanye West's Donda Sports and talks about a Yeezy signature uh, sneaker. The Los Angeles Rams superstar defender Aaron Donald announced during an episode of I Am An Athlete podcast that he had signed to Kanye West down to sports. He sat down right to break the big news. He said that signing to Donda Sports, which launched earlier this year with Antonio Brown as a business partner, was a no-brainer decision for him and his wife, who his wife actually handles marketing for the Super Bowl champion. That's cool. He said, it was an opportunity that came to us, me and my wife, and, we, and it made sense. Hearing the whole spectrum of what we're going to be bringing, the whole family atmosphere they got in on the sports, not just me, but my wife being part of that, for me, is a no-brainer. I think it's a hell of an opportunity to open up a lot of different doors and a lot of different things outside of football. And I want to be involved. That I want to do and I want my wife to do. So to be a part of that and to be one of the best first athletes to be a part of that, I love the way he shouted himself out. It's pretty dope. We're excited about it and we're going to see how things go. Now get this. They also asked him, right? They also asked him, um, if he could share anything with them regarding the Yeezy signature sneaker collab. And here's what he said. He said, ain't nothing in full circle, but we've been talking. We got a lot of different things that are planned. Ask about what it's like to hang out with Kanye. He had nothing but good things to say about him. But he said that he refused to be in one of Kanye's music videos. He said, Kanye's cool. He's real cool. He's a cool dude. We got to talk a little bit. It was a vibe. I was at one of his video shoots. He actually wanted me to get in the videos. And I was like, nah, it was out of my element. But he was cool. Donda Sports is something close to him, obviously, with his mother and everything. He definitely wants this to be something that's top tier and something he's serious about. Woo, you guys, let's not forget, right, that Donald was also spotted earlier this year partying with Kanye, um, Antonio Brown, and Floyd Mayweather uh, Jr. at the boxer's 45th birthday. He is the first big name athlete to uh, sign with Donda Sports, but everybody says that he's so high profile, he's going to open the floodgates. And the fact that basically Yeezy is going to start doing sneaker collabs, yo. 
nah, 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 wait till I get my money right. Ooh, I had a dream I could buy my way out of heaven. And when I arrived, I spent it on a necklace. Oh, I, okay, so anyway, right? Looks like Kanye said, was like, wait till I get my money right now. Let's talk about how Kim's hating self. Let's talk about how Kim's hating self literally, literally won't stop. What was her reply to this? Y'all got to see this. Y'all got to see the house that hate built. So here's Kanye on, you know, Miss Kim, she decided to post a picture of her and her near do well boyfriend doing nothing. Who told, you know, pause. Couple things I have to say. Who told Kim that they were a cute couple? When Pete was with Ariana Grande and I'm not, they make each other look worse. I'm not joking. And this is my humble opinion. When Pete was with Ariana Grande, somehow he was elevated. I never thought he was ugly. You know, was he the cutest guy? No. But I didn't think it was ugly. I just thought, well, you just never get dressed up. You always just look a little scruffy. But with Kim, it accentuates everything that's going on with his face. I don't know what you want to call it, but it also makes Kim look older. It makes it look gun. And it like exposes her for allegedly, if you believe what Kit uh Chloe says, for the narcissist she may be. Why is that? For one, why is Kim a Pete? I don't think that Kim likes um, boys of a uh, saltine equation. I, I don't think she does. So I don't think because she doesn't really go for them. I don't think she even knows what's attractive. She's just like, oh, okay. Pale skin, I guess. Like, do y'all think he's cute? You do? Okay, fine. I'll date him. I don't think she knows what she's looking at, but also let's go through how, even though I guess she did this to steal Kanye sunshine, to let him know you might have all the jewels in the world, but you don't got this one. I'm in the gutter with piece of rat, but look at this why the whole time they're kissing and i froze it for you guys she the whole time she's doing it she's looking at herself in the camera let's look at this right miss look so here's the first thing does she ever break does she ever break eye contact with the camera ever look at this look at this still in the camera i know they think they're sticking at the yeezy but at this point yeezy you like the fact, no matter what y'all went through, that she decided to play you for a door holder, but a door holder that everybody says is making the come up of his life. Listen, there's been lots of claims that Pete was acting like a diva when he started dating Kim Kardashian, even literally rolling around with security and all this stuff, right? He was missing a lot of rehearsals. He always got accused of getting special treatment from Lauren Michaels. Now they actually said Colin Joss married an actual movie star called Scarlett Johansson. And yet Pete is getting more attention. Is he getting more attention? Is he getting more attention or is he demanding? Cause let's not forget the career boost he had. He did a bunch of high profile gigs that he could not get before Kim Kardashian, right? He set to star in a new horror thriller, The Home. He's also going to be in American Soul, a bat with Bad Bunny, a Vietnam War thriller, this and that, right? However, Pete was not happy on Saturday Night Live and he was always looking for a weird out, way out. Apparently Saturday Night Live thought the same thing I did. You ain't talented, why are you here? I will say Pete has a good way of, of endearing himself to very powerful people. He doesn't have a problem paying Pete the pet for anyone, man or woman. He said, I personally think I should be done with that show because they make fun of me on it. I'm like cold open political punchlines. I'm like weekend update jokes. When, I, when I'm when i not there, they'll be like, uh, 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 pizza effing jerk face. And you're like, whose side are you on? I have a weird feeling in that building where I don't know whose team they're playing for. Really, if I'm the joke or if I'm in on the joke. This is I'm talking about the way he never felt ex accepted by his castmates and the way they thought he was no talent. He also spoke in the dynamic he's experienced with fellow cast members. In an interview, he said, it's like cut, it's like a cutthroat effing show. Everyone is trying to get their ish, their ish on. Everyone wants to be the next thing. So it's not like a loving, caring environment. You're not going to be coddled over there. They don't give an F about you at the end of the day. Pete, we could say the same thing about you and your ex-girlfriends. Now get this. They actually said 
Following that interview, Vanity Fair published an article saying Saturday Night Live needs Pete Davidson. Who watches Saturday Night Live for that fool? Does Pete Davidson still need Saturday Night Live? This was obviously planned up by the Kardashian camp, right? It says at the end of the article, now it sees that Davidson is laying track to exercise Studio AH, even though he's currently the show's most attention-grabbing comic outside, but nobody watches it. I say all this to say, people of Earth, Kim went out of her way to get Kim, to get Pete to actually come over, right? Chloe, what are you doing here? Pete went out of his way to get Kim to grab her. Kim, I think, is on is some ego trip being like, baby, I can make anybody famous. You want to make talk about you can make me famous, Kanye. I can make anyone famous, even a bum off the street. And Pete's not a bum off the street, but I think she's trying to prove something to Kanye. The only thing is, Kim doesn't seem to be noticing. He is finessing you, even the way you think he moved to LA to be closer to you and Kris Jenner. He only comes around when it helps his career. He does not do anything else. But you know what? If Kim's getting finessed, it ain't none of my business. And all I got to say is good night and good luck, y'all. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I will talk to you later. Bye.